everybody, welcome back to this Chiquelle YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I'm here to do a very exciting unboxing with you guys today. I have not tried this wig yet and I'm really excited too because this is from Beltrusse's newer Lux collection and I haven't had the opportunity to try their Lux collection yet. So this is the wig called Chloe. So I'm looking forward to diving into this with you guys, but before I do, just make sure you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay, so if you haven't heard of the Lux collection yet, this is um, a series of about four new wigs that Beltress has created this um, within the last few months here. And within these wigs, they have 12 new colors. So the wonderful thing about this Lux collection is that they are 100% hand tied, um, full monofilament top, ear to ear, wrap around lace front. They are Lux. They are luxurious. They are really fantastic. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what all the hype is about because I know that I love Beltrusse's heat friendly fibers. And of course, this is still made with Beltrusse's wonderful, buttery, soft, smooth heat friendly fibers. I also know that Beltrusse's, um, oh, I'm dropping things. Oh. I also know that Beltrusse's um, hand-tied caps are probably my very favorite hand-tied caps there are. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing the difference. So let's take a look at this. Oh my gosh, it is so soft. It is so soft. <laughs> so like I mentioned, these are heat-friendly fibers. So you could curl this, you could straighten it. Um, and in fact, heat is necessary in order to care for these fibers. You will notice that after um, some wear, the heat friendly fibers will get frizzy and fuzzy and fluffy, and you'll probably be bothered by that. But all you need to do is add a little bit of heat to it, and it's going to straighten the fibers out and make them feel like new again. Um, and on a straighter style like this, that makes it really easy to do that and to maintain it, which is awesome. So, but like I said, these are so soft. Beltrust has, I think, my favorite heat friendly fibers. I find they don't get as clumpy and tacky feeling as quickly as other heat friendly fibers. And they just always feel so smooth and soft. I've never had one that's felt like rough and, and weird. So anyways, they're lovely. All right, let's take a look at this cap. And you know what I'm going to do actually is, you know, this is the Lux collection. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another Beltrest just hand tied cap from their previous collections and we're going to see if there's any differences between them. I feel like there's not going to be huge differences but we'll take a look. So like I mentioned it is a hand tied cap so that means each and every fiber is individually hand tied onto this really soft and stretchy, look how stretchy this is, um, fabric. So the great thing about these hand tied caps is because these ones are so stretchy they can fit comfortably over um, a lot of different sized heads. Now I'm not talking about the circumference, I'm talking about like your head size. <laughs> um, we'll, I'll figure out what the circumference feels like when I put it on, but I already know that this will probably work for a lot of different head sizes, <laughs> not circumference. Okay, let me move on. Really soft. It's going to feel really comfortable. I already know it. Okay, we have a full monofilament top here. So that all of this space on top means you have that really great parting versatility. You can part it wherever you want. And of course, because it is a monofilament top, that means that each fiber here is also hand sewn onto this, giving you just really great multi-directional movement. So the wonderful thing about hand tied caps, monofilament tops, is that it gives you all of the movement you could ever imagine. It's gonna go any way you want and it's gonna sort of move in the same way that natural hair coming out of your own head would move. Whereas if this were an open wefted cap where the hair is sewn on into rows by a machine, the hair can only kind of move back and forth this way. But if it's an individual fiber sewn onto a cap by hand, you have all of this movement any way you want. All right. So we also have this beautiful wrap around ear to ear lace front. So we'll likely be able to tuck this behind our ears while giving you that um, 
illusion of growth from your hairline right at your temples even, which is great because often lace fronts will either end up here or they'll be extended a little bit to around this point here. So this is fantastic because it comes all the way down around your ears. All right, um, I think that is it. Oh, other than of course the adjusters. So Beltress always likes to use these pull adjusters to adjust your circumference. We do have just a sort of a standard nape. It's not velvet, it's not silicone, it's just sort of this rose lace here. But the ear tabs, however, just like Beltrus's other hand-tied caps, not in their Lux collection, these are a silicone ear tab, which is great for adding adhesive if you want that extra security by your temples. Okay, I can hardly wait to put this on, you guys. I'm excited to see how it feels, how it looks. Ooh, okay. Adjust her. So right now she's on the left side part, but of course, like I mentioned, you can part her anywhere. Okay, let's take a look at this style. She is a really layered and um, I guess sort of shaggy style. So you can see all these layers in here. Right now, this is what she's gonna look like straight out of the box, guys. Um, I mean, you saw me pull it right out of the box. This is what she is going to look like. So you, since this is heat friendly, this has a lot of potential to be maneuvered and manipulated in any way you kind of want it. So I would give yourself some time to work with her to figure out where you want the fibers to go and how you want her to sit. Okay, let's try doing a center part here. I always, I'm a center part gal usually. And I feel like with this fringe, the way it is right here, is we do have a bit of a shorter, almost curtain bang. And I feel like that looks awesome with a center part and it just kind of gives it that more shaggy look. Okay, so as you can see, these fibers aren't, they don't wanna go that way yet. And that's standard with pretty much any synthetic or heat friendly synthetic hair. Um, they are trained right now to go the way that the, the factory zigzag part has them to go, which is swooping over to the right. They don't wanna go the way that I want them to go. And the way to fix that is just with some heat. So all you need to do is get some heat. You can either uh, hold them back, spray some water on it and blow dry it back. You can use a blow dryer brush. You can use a hot comb. Um, you can use heat from your hands. However, I find that doesn't work as effectively but know that these heat friendly fibers can maintain or sustain, I should say, heat up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I generally keep it around 300 to 80 ish, but they could go up higher. All right, let me give you a little spin here. This is a really nice lightweight wig. And now because this is a 100% hand tied cap, um, no machine sewing anywhere on this because it's 100% hand tied. We have no permatees anywhere. So the permatees, um, permatees is what a lot of wig companies do to give volume and lift. It's also what they do to help, um, disguise any open wefts that they might have so that you don't see through to your scalp through those sewn rows. Um, but because we have this hand tied cap here, you're never going to find any permatees, which is fantastic for creating a more low profile look. Um, it's also really great for styling because you can part this anywhere, um, not be worried about any wefting being exposed. This is what you'll see if you do a big part, I guess. So, I mean, you're not going to want to fully expose that, but it at least gives you a better, um, sort of illusion of growth from your scalp as opposed to seeing right through to your bare scalp if you don't have hair or through to your own bio hair if you do have hair under. Um, so this is a nice light density you guys especially of course as you get to the ends it's nice feathery ends and because it is layered it's going to be a little bit lighter at the ends too but super light fluffy easy to manipulate and maneuver it's gonna do pretty much whatever you want it to do, which is amazing. Okay, let me talk about the sizing. So like I said, within the cap here, that is going to be able to accommodate for some 
larger heads. However, your circumference. I would say that this fits very true to average for circumference. Um, you can, yeah, I'm a petite size. I'm 20.5 in circumference. I would, I would be able to wear this just fine. I would probably bring in the adjusters just a little bit. I don't find that the hand tied cap in the back is too bulky. There definitely is some extra cap. However, that doesn't bother me necessarily with a hand tied cap. Um, just because the fabric is is not um, thick and it's not bulky fabric anyway, so it just it still sits nicely. But the circumference is about a true to average size. I would not wear this if I were a large. Um, you might feel like your head is going to explode. <laughs> we don't want that. Okay, let's take a look at this lace front here. Oh, it's lovely. One thing that I am loving as I'm showing this is that it's not super perfect. Sometimes when you get these lace fronts, you get this like really perfect, almost rainbow arch happening. Um, I feel like it almost comes back a little bit. Do you see that? Like it, it kind of goes back a little bit as opposed to just zroop. Um, I would probably maybe pluck a little bit of fibers at the hairline to give it a little bit more of a sparse scattered appearance. Um, but it is a really nice hairline. And of course, in this color, they've brought in, uh, they've brought forward the light, the light pieces, which is really great for disguising the knots there. Okay. And then of course, this goes around the ears here. So we could tuck it behind our ears. Now, as I'm tucking, notice how the lace is lifting around your ears. Um, I would probably add some adhesive at my ear tabs in order to help alleviate that, especially if I want to do any tucking or styling behind my ears. Um, so just notice that. And I do find that with a lot of these um, wraparound ear to ear lace fronts, they tend to lift around your um, ear taps, but it's not too big of a deal. Okay, so the measurements on this, we have a seven inch fringe, the sides, crown, those all range anywhere between about 14 to 16 inches in length. And then from your nape, so that's from this point back here, we have nine inches. So I generally find that from the nape is where that's kind of gonna be the longest point. So if you're wondering how it's gonna sit on you, kind of find where the nape of your neck is and then measure nine inches down from there and that will typically be your longest point on your wig. Okay, I cannot in good conscience leave this video without telling you that these new Lux Collection wigs by Beltress are very expensive. I didn't make the price, <laughs> I didn't do it, but, um. They're, they're expensive. So she's pricey. She's pricey. Um, but it's a really beautiful cap. This is going to be as realistic as you can get, as comfortable as you can get. Um, like I mentioned earlier, Beltrest has some of my very favorite hand tied caps. They're very comfortable, very realistic. And also, like I mentioned, Beltress has some of my very favorite heat-friendly fibers. And the one thing I love about heat-friendly fibers is that um, they're not as shiny as synthetics. So I also love John Renault's light caps. They have a really beautiful hand-tied cap, full ear-to-ear -ear lace front, silicone temples and nape, um, monofilament top. They have all the bells and whistles too, and the caps are comfortable. Um, the wigs are beautiful, but they typically make them with synthetic fibers. Beltress makes theirs with heat-friendly synthetics. And I find the realistic appearance of heat-friendly fibers are just, they're just more realistic. <laughs> and it's pretty much because of the lack of shine. However, there is a little bit of a learning curve with these heat-friendly fibers. Um, even though they don't have the shine, they can be a little bit more annoying to maintain because they get clumpy and frizzy and frazzly, like I mentioned earlier in this video. Um, and you do need heat to maintain those fibers, which for some people, 
that's a breeze, that's no problem. You can just take your uh, hot airbrush, go through the ends and she's good as new. But for others, sometimes that's a little bit of a pain. Um, they can be a bit hard to deal. Now, I did tell you I was going to show you um, Beltress's typical hand tied caps. So here I have the wig Dalgona 16 hand tied. Um, I'm going to show you the differences here. And to be honest with you, there's um, not a lot of differences, which then makes me wonder um, why these new light caps are so expensive. <laughs> because Beltress's other hand tied caps, like the Dalgona 16 hand tied, this is about half the cost of this one. So let's look at the difference here. Um, monofilament top. Okay, just with me feeling it, this Dalgona's hand tied feels a bit more rough, um, a little bit harder. It's not hard, but it just doesn't feel as quite as soft and malleable as um, the Lux Collection cap. We do have wraparound ear to ear um, lace fronts on Dalgona. So on all of their previous hand tied caps on the Lux Collection, it's the same thing. So here's the differences there. They're pretty much the same. Um, yeah, not much difference. Okay, they also have the exact same nape same pull tabs, same standard nape there. Pull tabs and the standard nape. Um, and if I'm feeling the hand tied cap, they feel the same. <laughs> they feel the same. I don't know if they've used a different material to be honest with you, but they feel the same. So, like I said, overall, the Dalgona lace that they've used does feel just a little bit rougher, a little bit not quite as soft as the Lux collection. But other than that, I'm analyzing. <laughs> I don't see a lot of differences. So yeah, it makes me question why the Lux collection is much more expensive. I might have to dive deeper into that. <laughs> Anyways, um, since I'm here, I will put Dalgona hand tied on for you. This is in the color Root Beer Float Blonde, which is a nice ash blonde with even some sort of nice natural darker blonde highlights in there as well, or lowlights, I should say. Um, it's a really dimensional color. And then we do have, sorry, some uh, lighter brown roots, I would say. This is one of my very favorite wigs, Dalgona Hand Tied. It's so pretty. Um, Dalgona Hand Tied, I have done a review on this. I will link it below. It does fit smaller than average within your circumference, I do find. Whereas Chloe from this Lux collection, it fits a little bit more true to average. Okay, here's Dalgona Hand Tied. I'm not gonna go into the full details of her, but you are welcome to go and watch my review on her. She's a fantastic wig. I just love this one to pieces. Okay, what I did not mention is Chloe's color. So we have this beautiful brunette here and it's called Toasted Walnut Rooted. Now this is going to be, I would say a, it's a medium to lighter warm brown color. Um, it definitely does lean a little bit warm for the brown. And then we do have these uh, natural blonde highlights throughout. I wouldn't necessarily call them a cool blonde highlight. These are more of a neutral blonde highlight going throughout and it is heavily highlighted. So you do see a lot of that blonde. It's a nice dimensional color. And then it is a rooted color. However, since this already is a brown base, the roots are not as evident. It almost gives it a look of a grown out highlight in a way. So maybe as if you just need to go back to the salon, have a little touch up on your <laughs> on your roots there. But it is a nice natural root um, and a really beautiful dimensional color, leaning warmer with the brown and neutral with the blonde there. All right, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I really enjoyed taking out Chloe and trying her on for you. She truly is a beautiful wig. If you have the funds to purchase her, then 
I say go for it. You're gonna love her. I don't know anyone who wouldn't love her. Um, but then of course I know she's, she's just expensive and she's more of a dream for a lot of people, something that they can only hope to one day get um, because she is, she's expensive. But if you can afford her, I say go for it. She's really, really lovely. And of course, if any of these wigs I showed today, Chloe, Dalgona Hand Tied, if they are something that you're interested in, then make sure you go and check them out on our website at chiquelle.com, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada, or chiquelle.com.au if you are in Australia. But I'm going to let you guys go. Have a really wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, you guys.